Hey guys, welcome to another episode of TLG Vlogs. And today I am excited if I am going to share with you all of our tips and our secrets to selling high-end new construction. If you're a real estate broker, this is the tour you're not gonna wanna miss. I'm gonna show you a lot of our secrets and how we handle the buyer and listing process. Follow me. A very overlooked part of the process is definitely understanding the construction in general of where it's at, right? So a lot of real estate brokers aren't weekly or even daily in most scenarios walking through their sites to have an idea of like the construction timeline. Why that's important is when a client's calling you, number one, you wanna know how far the project's along so you could articulate properly, you know, realistic timelines. But number two, when showing you, is it a good time to show? For example, we're putting down floors here today. This might not be the best time to show because we're getting in their way, right? So things like that, understanding the construction process, talking to your developers, it's just a really little tip but kinda goes, you know, a big, a big part of the process. All right, so we're gonna get out of the workers' way now, but something that I've seen being on tours, selling a lot of new construction, representing a lot of buyers on new construction, I've pretty much seen it all, right? And something that's always amazed me or frustrated me is when I see an agent have a new construction listing and they don't even understand the layout. So thankfully in this house here, we're fully sheetrock, so most of it's self-explanatory, but when you're open framing, meaning you don't have walls like this, it could be kind of confusing. So have you studied the plans, right? Do you really understand the gross livable square footage of the house? Do you know every nook and cranny of the house of what's designated for what? That's important, because the last thing you want to do is have a new client walk through a house and not be able to say, this is the primary bedroom, or this is where the primary bathroom is going to go, or the laundry room is going to go, and you don't want to make yourself look foolish or uneducated about your own listing. So really understanding the layout is really critical. I was gonna dive into another topic and actually our video team just said something that inspired me to even talk about this, right? Like understanding the behind the scenes stuff of the house, right? So meaning rough plumbing, right? So client walks in this room and they say, you know, what's going there? What's going here, right? That's not just analyzing the plans, that's really understanding what that is, right? So we have a vanity coming here, we have a vanity coming here and they're like, well, what's that weird hole in the ground here? What's coming here, right? That's, that's the plumbing for the soaking tub. So understanding the layout of rough plumbing, electrical, things like that is also really critical. But the point I was really trying to drive in that's important is besides knowing the house, knowing the builder, right? What has the builder built? What's the builder's reputation? Can you showcase other products they've built? Could you show examples of things? This house is, let's say at 70%, right? Tiles in, closets are starting to go in, trim's starting to go in, so you can get a rough idea what this home's gonna look like. But a lot of this stuff isn't here. What are you showing the client, right? Maybe you have digital renderings, which we'll touch on, but is there a past work portfolio that you can showcase to make that buyer feel comfortable is really, really important. Before we take you over to another one of our projects, while we're outside, I figured we would touch on this quickly, right? The backyard is such a dynamic part of the house. Thankfully here, this house has a lot of amenities, right? We have a full gunite pool, we have a covered terrace with fan and screens coming in, we have a fireplace, an outdoor kitchen, just really an entertainer's dream. But some houses don't have this, right? It's a blank slate. Is the builder providing a fence? Is the builder providing a gate? How high is the fence? If it's an interior versus a corner lot, is it six foot, four foot? What's the sod package in grass? Are they doing any sort of planters? Are there arborvitaes, right? Knowing some of this stuff is important because you don't want to get tied up when you're touring it through a client, right? Maybe if you're in a high traffic town like Paramus, it's rare to have a lot this big, but you kind of feel like your neighbors might be a little bit close. So what is the builder doing to really encompass this beautiful backyard? Like knowing the hardscape plan, knowing the landscape plan is really, really important. All right, so we're sitting in a little traffic, we're making our way over to the other project, but just some frequently asked questions that I've came across, which I could certainly almost promise you you're gonna come across, especially when selling new construction, right? A super common one's always, what are the property taxes gonna be? Knowing your town's tax rate and equalization ratio is really important, right? You don't wanna misquote somebody or, you know, guesstimate that it's gonna be, you know, whatever it could be and the tax bill comes in in a year and it's fifteen, twenty thousand dollars more than you quoted them. That won't be a great conversation to have. Right? What warranties are coming with the house? In New Jersey, if it's a brand new foundation, you're getting a 10 year warranty on that. But what are the secondary warranties? Are there you know any builder warranties on settlement, etc.? That's important to know. Um, budgeting, right? If mirrors or lighting you know haven't been ordered yet or still could you know have selections, what is the budget? How does that work? Do I get selections maybe on countertops or tile if that's not in? Things you should know, especially if it's early on in the process. Um, probably one of the more common things I hear a lot from clients are, what assurance do I have 
that the builder is gonna deliver what they're showing me, right? If the house isn't as progressed as the one that we were just in, and you're showing me these gorgeous photos of other houses, what, what assurance do I have as a buyer that you're gonna deliver me comparable quality tile or you know that exact tile, right? Things you should be prepared to answer. Actually, one of my builders is calling me right now. Can't even make this up, I'm going over at his house. Um, I'll send him the voicemail for now. Don't kill me, Ron. Um, but yeah, just having a grasp of your full project is important because you wanna be the most educated one there because your client, especially if they're looking at this product and it's expensive product, are gonna have a lot of questions and being prepared is really important. All right, so we're driving to the other project and I actually got inspired. So I did a little bit of a U-turn here to give you guys a story because I think this is actually pretty interesting. So this house right behind us, you can see we did the mark out coming here. This house is getting knocked down. We haven't even started, meaning we just submitted for demo permit. This is gonna be knocked down in about two weeks. And I have pre-sold this house already, meaning a buyer is in contract to close on this house. And you might say, how did you do that? And I'm gonna show you. And the most interesting thing is there's a brand new house across the street that's being built, which is also another beautiful house. But we sold this one before that was sold, right? And it's about knowing your market, it's about knowing the product. And I'm gonna share how we did that. So come follow me really quickly. I had a set of buyers that I was working with that I knew had a certain following to a certain builder and I knew they were looking for a certain location and they wanted a certain lot size. This house offered the full package. So when we go over to the other house that we pre-sold, which I'll show you in a minute, I was able to use that as like a showcase product to showcase how this, what you're seeing here, which most buyers would look at this and not have any understanding of what's gonna come and teach them and show them that we're gonna put that same house here. Why I wanna extend the conversation a little bit further is the other house where you saw, right? The beautiful pools there, you have that great covered terrace, the fireplace is coming in, it's gorgeous. But imagine trying to convince somebody that this backyard here could be something comparable, right? That you could also have a gorgeous pool here. We're gonna have brand new landscaping. You could see this lot, the topography is a little bit elevated, right? I mean, it dips down on one end, it's higher here. So as a buyer, if you're trying to bring somebody over here, they might be confused, right? They're, they're seeing this house that's a more older, let's call it depreciated home, and you're gonna put a two and a half million dollar, three million dollar house there, it's a hard sale, right? So you really have to know your market. You have to have relevant product to show somebody. You have to have the right marketing package, which we're gonna show you guys in a minute. But I just wanted to show you like something at its rawest stage, right? Before it has even been knocked down. And it's a great story to share that we were actually able to secure a buyer for the new house before we even started. All right, so really to tie the whole story together, the home that we were just at that hasn't even started, right? We were referring to a house that we leveraged that gave us the ability to pre-sell that house. So we're standing in that house right now. But really what makes the difference is the marketing package you're putting together. So I'm gonna showcase on the screen some websites and things that we've created. This is digital renderings that we create for the homes. This is schematic floor plans that we're creating for our properties. This is full property spec sheets and descriptions, right? This is giving the buyer the look into the future of what the product's gonna look like. But for that prior example, knowing that my client and I had this home that was on a similar lot in a similar location, we could pretty much, I don't wanna say copy and paste, but we could replicate this house to that client's liking on that lot. So this really gave us the ability, although there's really not much here, right? We just started sheetrock. The client got idea of the layout. We got them comfortable with the builder's past work. We were able to really drive in the information that person was looking for, and we were able to pre-sell that house before it even started, which is amazing. So the moral of the story is know your market, know the product, know, you know what your client's needs are and what they're looking for. And a lot of this business is kind of putting all the pieces together, right? It's, it's making things fit. It's creating opportunities, and that is just really the difference maker when selling to construction. And thank you guys for touring with us today. If you found this information valuable, if you're looking to see more stuff, more information like this, more tours, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next week.